Okay, one of our favorite stories of the day, incredible pictures. They look like something from NASA, but these photos come from a camera of a Beaverton student. Point six meteorologist Sally Showman spoke with him today. And Sally, what, they attached cameras to a weather balloon? Yeah, it's pretty incredible, Jeff. So consider this. I'm about 500 feet off the ground at the top of the coin tower. That balloon, it was helium. It carried the cameras 90,000 feet up into the atmosphere where temperatures are 40 degrees below zero Celsius. And then the cameras survived a drop from 90,000 feet up. Pretty incredible. This one we had facing down towards the ground, this one facing out towards the horizon. It all began with two tiny cameras and a lofty goal. Trying to get up as high as possible. A 250 mile drive led Eric Thomas and about a dozen students from Centralia College to their balloon launch site in eastern Washington Saturday. On board the balloon, weather instruments, a GPS, and most importantly, two cameras to document an 18 mile journey up and back down. You fill up your balloon and then you just let go of it. And so it's, it's probably more scary than any project I've done because uh, you don't know if you'll get it back or not. After months of planning and preparing, even getting clearance from the FAA, all Thomas and his friends could do was wait as the cameras embarked on an incredible journey above a field dotted with sagebrush at first, then crop circles become visible and the Columbia River. Eventually, the camera captures everything within about 120 miles. You get this picture of it almost looking like it's an orbit where the Earth is above in spaces continues onwards. It was pretty amazing seeing the curve of the Earth and knowing that those pictures came from us and not from NASA. The balloon burst at about 90,000 feet and a parachute brought the cameras back to Earth, where Thomas and his friends retrieved it with the help of GPS. Trying to use the word awesome and then a couple levels up to try to describe how great this was. It was pretty amazing looking at them for the first time because uh, we were really hoping that one of the cameras didn't malfunction. The lessons learned will stay with these young men throughout their lives. When you're looking down like at the pictures and stuff, it seems like problems that we have here really aren't that big of a deal. Um, kind of gives you a, a perspective of kind of almost the whole world. Now, it's really fascinating. I want to bring in Chief Meteorologist Bruce Sussman because the weather balloons that those students used are so similar to the weather balloons that we use to help us forecast the weather every day. Right, Bruce? Yeah, that is so true. Great story, Sally. And it is amazing. The technology of these balloons is still so relevant to what we do. Weather balloons are launched by the National Weather Service at 5 a.m. and 5 p.m. each day in these northwest cities. I've got them here, Forks, Salem, Medford, Spokane, and Boise. Now, attached to the bottom of each of these balloons is an instrument pack, and it gives us a snapshot of what's going on in the skies above us. Now, why do we care about that? Well, that helps us forecast things like, oh, heat waves, thunderstorm chances, and will it rain today, or is it going to be cold enough to snow? We don't care about any of that stuff, right? Yeah, of course we do. So that's why it's so important. And these weather balloons, by the way, are launched at the same time, twice a day, and at more than 100 locations across the U.S. And that gives us a real picture of what's coming our way.